So, I could have talked about uh, a drunk asshole, and I could have talked about patterns that I see on YouTube, and I could have talked about uh, a lot of things that I had building up inside my head. Um, but today, I'm going to talk about um, why I named my channel what I named it. And I might have said this somewhere else, like on someone's YouTube, Google Hangout, or uh, in a ramble previously. Uh, you might be able to piece this together from other places, but I'm going to put it all in one video for you. Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, I needed alphabetical superiority, so I had to have a channel with the letter A. Okay, here I was faced with, okay, I'm starting over, I'm making a new channel where I'm going to put all of my opinions about what it is like to grow up as a minority, non-religious person in my life in America, right? And I don't want it to be part of my family channel, which is older by years. You know, I didn't want my opinions to be right next to my friend, family and friends wedding videos that I was putting up on that channel, you know? So, I was choosing this name for success. You know, I, everyone wants their opinions to be seen, right? And just before I started that channel, I had purchased a video game called Ion, right? And it was a MMO game. And in previous games, like EverQuest 2 and World of Warcraft, I had learned that alphabetical superiority of a name, you know, coming at the, at the front of the line, like in the A's, really does work to give you a little bit of a boost. I saw guilds that didn't deserve more people to join them, just get more people to join them because they were the first ones in the list of guilds on that server. So I figured uh, it might be good for me to have a channel name that starts with an A. Um, and if you were to look up a uh, list of atheist YouTubers, uh, you'll find on, on Google, just look it up, you'll find a list on uh, Creation Wiki. These creationists have, have marked all of our channels for, you know, scrutiny. Um, you'll see that I am closer to the top of the list of all of those channels. And that's awesome, because people, if they're clicking on everything in the list, before they get tired, they're going to click on my name. Right? So, that was one reason. <clears throat> and, uh, let's see, the word agent uh, did not mean anything about uh, a government uh, or a job at all. <laughs> um, it was more uh, something that is a proponent of at the time, that's what it meant to me. You know, I, I did not, I didn't have any government job whatsoever when I made the channel. Okay. So, um, doubt. What doubt meant uh, at the time? Um, although I do uh, have a fondness for skepticism and do defer to the better skeptical argument when I see it. Um, it didn't have anything to do with skepticism. It really had uh, something to do with people trying to pull one over on another by telling them to set aside whatever ideas they had about, you know, maybe getting tricked. Um, and it, it's, it's something that goes way back to when I was like seven years old. And I was in the Assembly of God Church, uh, specifically Glad Tidings Church, on the corner of Cherry and South in Long Beach, California. And I was told that doubting God was a great sin, and having absolute faith is the best thing that you can do to honor God, you know. And so when I was told things like this, I felt like somebody was trying to trick me. You know, it just gave me this 
gut instinct of, um, no, I am not going to take what you're saying as just fact. I'm going to go investigate for myself, you know? And it's okay to have doubts. And the way that you're demonizing doubt and saying that this is actually a a sin, like a sticky, spiritual, ectoplasmic goo that's seeping into you, you know, this is doubt clinging to your heart. Th that's wrong. Doubt is something that keeps you from being suckered, you know? And even at seven, I had had enough experiences in getting suckered by people pulling little tricks on me, whether they be jokes or really hurtful things, you know. I had learned by then that doubt can be a good thing, and nobody can tell you to to have no doubts that they are they are telling you the truth, because the person that says that most likely the person trying to trick you, you know? It's... The person who says in a, in a non-exemptory fashion you should doubt everything including me, that's someone who you should respect. But the person who's saying you should doubt everything except me, that person is likely trying to pull one over on you. That's just something that I learned really early on. And so I like having a healthy dose of doubt injected into things. And I felt like telling people it's okay to have your doubts. You know, it's okay. And those people who are trying to shame you into not having doubts by saying that, you know, faith is a virtue, and if you don't have that faith, you know, then you're hurting God, and you're making baby Jesus cry, you know. Those are just some of the ways that people will try to use peer pressure in order to pull one over on you. And it doesn't just... It doesn't just happen to be in the, the realm of the spiritual. If someone's trying to sell you a product, you know, any product or any idea, they can use the same tactics. You know, they can tell you that you're stupid if you take two extra seconds to think about this. If you're not all in right now, there is something wrong with you. You know, and whenever you hear that sales pitch, you should say fine, there's something wrong with me. Go the fuck away. You know, what's wrong with me is your fucking sales pitch. You know? Um, and so whenever anyone says, um, here's this rule that governs most everything that you see, uh, but in this one instance, this exception to the rule, this is not the way things are. All that logic that you used that, that held true for everything else in the world, it, 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 it doesn't hold true here. And I just want you to accept it without questioning, you know, without really knowing what the mechanism is that makes it different in this instance. Just psh, quell your doubts. The, that's when you need to look really, really fucking close, all right? I guess the, the simplest way of putting all of this is uh, I think that everyone should investigate the term special pleading, okay? Having skepticism a as a methodology that, that you use to understand the world is a great thing. And whenever anyone tells you, okay, that is what's holding you back. Your skepticism. You need to 
put that aside for a second and just feel this and, and see how it feels for you and you know no no when they're telling you to turn off your brain that's when you need to turn it on the most okay that's when it's the most critical 